What do you like most about Germany? So far, uh, the people. Uh, they don't seem to be too offended if you don't speak German, which is nice for me. It's a happy thing. <laughs> and, yeah, it is. And I like that they're very tall. I don't feel so tall here. I feel like I'm just one of... of I know you've done a lot of theater. Is it different performing in front of a crowd on stage than it is like actually on TV where stuff can be edited out and you're not... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's a completely different uh, uh, art form in a way. You get used to it as you do both mediums. But yeah, it's a very different art form. One is much more immediate. The theater is much more in the actor's control. It's sort of an actor's medium. And then uh, and then the, the doing film and TV and everything is, is sort of known as being more of a director's medium because we do our work, but then they could do anything with it. <laughs> My life. Nothing else matters but you. I ask you to remember all the good times we had and to treat me kindly. For a noble man always remembers those who gave him pleasure and protects them from... For our fierce hero sits shell-shocked in his tent, glazed over, gazing into oblivion. He has the thousand yards... Are you looking forward to the, um, the showing? For very the first much so, yeah. yeah. Very much so. Yeah, it's, a, it's an amazing yeah. really cool. event to witness, to be able to... Um, start this conversation with the troops. Have you got a lot of good responses back from the audience? Mm -hmm. yeah. And and it's so they're they're grateful to uh, the theater of war for starting the conversation. But what's amazing as an actor is that our contribution has nothing to do with us. <laughs> There's no, like, was I good? Do you, do you think I was good? How did I do? It's beside you know? the point. It's so beside the point. It's so about... You could be any Greek god. Which one would you be? Wow. Oh, my gosh. Have you ever asked that question before? No. i got to think about it for a second. Okay, what do we have? That's easy for you. Reed is a, a much-respected New York City theater actor, film and television actor. Um, you may have seen him in The Changeling, directed by Clint Eastwood. And uh, he's in a film called Morning Glory uh, that uh, he co-stars alongside with uh, Harrison Ford that's coming out. And I am on the right track. He is the one you described, the killer of cows. A reckless gesture, but why did he do it? Black bile, blinding rage over the arms of Achilles. But what drove him to attack the animals? In his mind, their blood was yours. He wished to kill the Greeks? There is no other. It never leaves my hands. May I get a closer look at it? Could I hold it in my arms? Only you, son, deserve to do this. And anything else... What messages are we trying to get across with the theater of war? The message, really, if there's one basic message, is you're not alone, you're not alone in the room when we perform, you're not alone across time. These plays go back 2,500 years. The issues that were relevant then are still relevant now. So we're really trying to address issues of um, psychological injury, um, the unseen wounds of war, they're real, and also... Um, post-traumatic growth, resiliency, and the challenges that our service members and their families face on reintegration is Brendan Griffin. Brendan's a New York-based uh, theater, film, and uh, television actor. Um, you may have seen him in the HBO series uh, Generation Kill, or in the film Taking Chance, where he co-starred alongside uh, Kevin Bacon, uh, and we're delighted to have him. It hurts to hear of things I hate to do. It's just not in me to lie. Not in my blood. Not in my father's blood. The man only has one good foot. Surely we can take him together. They sent me to help you, sir. But I would rather die honestly than win deceit. Are you looking forward to performing for the first European I really show? I really am. I look forward to it. I look forward to serving those that serve us. Oh, what are some of the responses you've gotten from the audience? Is it you know good what, this feedback? Is actually, my first time, but oh. I've been an audience member. Seeing um, the response has been great. I mean, people are really affected by the performance and how it affects their lives. Something that's been going on for so long. Could be any Greek god. Which would you be? It's the hardest question. It is. It is. I can't even answer the question. <laughs> Jamie Hector. <laughs> and I'm not a god. So, yeah. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Thank you for having us. We truly appreciate it. And we hope that we do you justice. Brendan's right. Um, we have Jamie Hector. Jamie, uh, you may know from as one of the main characters in the HBO series The Wire. Um, he played uh, Marlowe. And uh, he's also been in uh, television shows like Heroes 
and in films like Max Payne with uh, Mark Wahlberg. Right now, add me to this pile in my suffering. Do not say these things. We will not cure evil with evil, for if we try, the pain will only grow worse than the illness that brought it upon you. Do you see what I have done? I was the bravest in battle, never lost my wits, and now I've killed these harmless barnyard animals with my hands. What a joke my life has become, my reputation, my sense of honor. Lord Ajax, I beg you not to talk. Will you leave me alone? Will you not go?